Good evening guys and thank you for tuning in to my channel again. Um, today I am going to be showing you how to make um, fried eggplant with potato and um, fried fish guys. And I am going to be making that with some solder roti guys or some of us know it as pita, pita bread. Okay guys, so in my pot there I have um, 2 tablespoons of olive oil heating up there to fry my potato and then my pot here I have some 2 tablespoon um, oil heating up here too for my eggplant guys okay guys and these are my ingredients over here I have 4 large eggplant that I went ahead and I chopped up and I also have 5 potatoes that I went ahead and I um, sliced guys into about quarter inch thick and here guys I have some fish this is um this is a fish from my country Guyana it's called bangonberry guys I went ahead and I fried this earlier with my green seasoning and um, I do have um, um, several videos on my channel guys that show you how to go ahead and fry different types of fish guys and I do have a video with this so you can go ahead and check that out I will also link it in the description guys and in my plate here guys for my eggplant I have um, six flakes of garlic chopped up, one whole onion, some tomatoes, and some scallion there guys. This is my garnishing for my um, eggplant guys. So first what I like to do guys, I like to fry my potato separate before I add it to my eggplant guys. I like my potato to be a little crisp and crunchy guys, golden brown. So I'm going to go ahead and fry my potato separately. Um, before I add it to my eggplant guys and I will show you step by step and my fry fish guys I'm going to break it up and add it to the eggplant later um, after my eggplant like five minutes before my eggplant finish cooking I am going to add my fish to my eggplant guys okay so first thing I'm going to do guys I am going to start with my potatoes which I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start frying my potatoes guys so into my pan here guys um, let me turn this camera so you could see into my pan here I have one large onion and a couple flakes of garlic I'm gonna go ahead and add that to my pan and this is for my potato guys and I am gonna give this a sauce and I'm gonna fry my potato guys on high heat because I wanted to fry golden brown so here you have it my potato I'm going to be frying in my pan here guys. So I'm going to let my onion and my garlic saute it for about a minute or two guys until it's marinated into my olive oil there before I add my potatoes. Okay guys, so to my onion and garlic here, I am going to go ahead and I am going to add my potatoes. I am going to add my potatoes here guys. Also to my potato guys, I'm going to add some black pepper, about half a teaspoon, this is optional. I am going to add one teaspoon of garlic powder and one teaspoon of onion powder. I'm going to give this a sauce and I'm going to let that fry golden brown rice going to cover that and let that fry golden brown guys. Okay guys, so now for my eggplant, I am going to go ahead and start my eggplant too guys. While my potato is frying, I am going to start cooking my eggplant. So then when my potato is finished, I will just add it to my eggplant with my fish guys, okay? So bear with me. So into my pot here guys, I have 2 tablespoons of olive oil heating up here. And I have my eggplant which I am going to have on um, cut up guys 
guys that I squeeze all the seeds out. So here's my eggplant. So into my pot here, guys, I am going to go ahead and I am just going to be adding my garlic and my onion, my scallion and my tomato I'll leave for last, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, I'll, actually I'm going to put a little bit of scallion into that mixture. So I'm going to go ahead and add my onion, garlic, and some of my scallion. I will leave a little bit for garnishing at the end. And I am going to give this a toss and let this cook for about two to three minutes into the oil until it's all marinated and fried nicely into the oil, guys, before I add my eggplant. My fish, guys, I am going to add my fish last the last five minutes after my eggplant is fried, I am going to go ahead and chop my fish up a little smaller and then I'm going to add that to last, guys. Okay, guys, so into my onion, garlic, and um, scallion here, I'm going to go ahead and add my eggplant. And to my eggplant, guys, I'm going to add a little bit of black pepper. And this is optional, guys. And I am going to add one teaspoon of chicken bouillon, guys. One teaspoon of chicken bouillon. I'm going to go ahead and give this a toss. So good already, guys. So good. Okay, I'm going to let this cook until my eggplant is tender. I let that fry up until my eggplant is tender, guys. Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to check on my potato. I am going to check on my potatoes. And I'm going to get this a toss. This is cooking up real nicely here. Frying up nicely here, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and get this a toss. And I'm not gonna cover my eggplant, guys, because eggplant lose water. So I'm not gonna go ahead and cover this. I'm gonna let this fry open. Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and check out my eggplant here. It's just cooking up real nice here, guys. is looking perfect guys and I like my eggplant to cook a little brown guys I like it to catch a little I don't know about you guys but this is the way I like my eggplant and also I am going to go ahead and check on my potatoes and there you have it guys my potato is completely finished it's brown up all nicely here golden brown that's the way I like it so my potato is finished guys, and my eggplant guys is also at the point where I'm going to go ahead now and I am going to add my potatoes into my eggplant. So guys, I am going to add my potatoes here into my eggplant. And at this point guys, I am going to go ahead and add my 
garnishing, which is like tomatoes and like scallion. And also, I am going to go ahead and add my fish, guys. Give this a toss. Look how beautiful this look, guys. Look how beautiful this look. How can you go wrong, guys? This is fried eggplant with fish and potato, guys. Look how delicious that is. for about two to three minutes until everything is marinated together guys and then I'll go ahead and I'll turn that off. Okay guys I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna check on my eggplant here. Cooking up nicely. I'm gonna check on that here. Um, I'm gonna let that fry for about another minute or two. Okay guys, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to check on my eggplant here. It is completely finished guys. So my eggplant is finished here guys. So what I'll do, I'll go ahead and I'll turn my stove off. I'll put this aside and then I'll start with my roti guys. I'm going to make um, soda roti or um, seco roti, some of us know it as or pita bread guys, okay? So I'm going to put this aside and then I'll show you how to go ahead and make that. My eggplant is cooked up nicely there guys. I am going to go ahead now and I am going to show you how to make the seca um, roti guys, okay? So in my bowl here guys, I have three and a half cups of flour, I have um, a pinch of salt and I have one tablespoon of butter. I am going to go ahead out oh, and um, one and a half tables, uh, one and a half teaspoon of baking powder, guys. So it's um, three cups of flour, one and a half teaspoon of baking powder, a pinch of salt, and one tablespoon of butter, guys. I'm going to go ahead and I am going to mix this thoroughly, incorporating it to the flour, and then I'll show you how to start kneading it, guys. Okay. So right now I'm going to make sure that. All these ingredients is incorporated into each other here, into the flour. And make sure you have clean hands when you're doing this, guys. And you can also do this with a um, spoon, guys, but I prefer to use my fingers. Okay, guys, so now that I have everything mixed into my flour here, and I am using organic um, all purpose flour guys, but you can use any type of flour that you have. I'm using all purpose organic flour. So now that I have everything mixed in here guys, I have a cup and a half of water and you're going to use the water a little at a time guys, okay? So I'm going to go in and pour a little of my water there and I am going to start mixing my dough just like that. And I'll pour the water into it, guys, as I go along until I get the dough where I want it to be, guys. And if the dough is a little soft, guys, you can always go ahead and sprinkle a little bit of flour. That's no problem. You can always sprinkle a little flour here and continue to knead it. And I do have several video guys um, on my channel that I show you how to make bread, how to make roti, um, how to make salara guys, different different things. So you could go ahead and check that out. I do have step by step video.
Okay, guys. So I'm gonna continue to knead my dough here, guys. And you're gonna clean your bowl as you go along. I'm gonna add just a pinch more flour. Okay guys, this is perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to knead for about five minutes until it turns into a smooth dough, guys. Just like that, you're gonna continue mixing and kneading, guys. This is a beautiful dough, guys. A nice soft dough. It's going to make some nice roti here, guys. Just like this you want it, guys. Okay, guys, so my dough is completely neat here. And you see guys, see how soft this is? That's exactly what you want. So what I'm going to do now guys, I am going to go ahead and I am going to cover my dough with a damp um, cloth, um, damp paper towel guys. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cover my dough and for about 20 minutes. And then I'll come back and show you how to start making the loaves out for the roti guys, okay? So bear with me. My dough has been resting here now for the past 20 minutes. So I am going to go ahead now and show you how to start making the low off for the um, for the the roti guys, okay? So what I'm going to do, I am going to pour this onto my board here guys. Give it a little flour here. There you have it, guys. Nice soft dough, guys. Look at that. Look at that. How beautiful that is. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, guys, I am going to go ahead and I am going to cut this into three parts. Just like that. And I'm going to go ahead, guys. And roll this out just like that guys and then I'll give this a cut okay guys I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to flour this And now I'll go ahead and I will make the little lorries out guys and I will put it into my pan here. So all you're going to do guys, you're going to make it into some small little doughs just like that. You're going to just keep rolling it into your hands like that until it become a nice small little loy, just like that guys. And you're going to rest it into your pan here. And if you want guys, you could also go ahead and flour your pan a little. Okay, and you're going to continue to make the little oils out guys. I am going to show you a few more so you can see what I'm saying. Just like that guys. And you don't want the doughs too um, big guys because these are... Um, these are sacred roti that you're going to be making or sada roti, some of us know it as um, pita bread. So you want it small guys, okay? So just like this guys, you're going to go ahead and make them all just as small. And I'll continue making these out guys and then I'll come back and 
After I finish making them out, guys, I'm going to let it sit for another 10 minutes before I start making it, guys, okay? So bear with me. I already make out for my, um, for my pita bread, guys, or my sada roti or seka roti, some of us know it as, guys. So there you have the dough made out here, guys. So I'm going to go ahead now, guys, and I'm going to show you how to make it on the pizza pan, guys, okay? So, or the towel, some of us know it as. So bear with me one second, guys, and I'm gonna show you that. Okay, guys. So right now I have my um my pan, my towel heated up here nicely. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and take one of my dough, guys, and I am going to roll this out. And you don't want to roll this out too big, guys. Okay, you just want to roll it out just a little bit, not too big. Just like this guys, you're gonna roll it out small, not too big, and you're gonna put it on your towel there. And you're gonna let that cook, and I'll show you how to go ahead and complete that. As it cook, guys, you're just going to keep tossing it like that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and flip that. Just like that, guys. And you want to cook this on medium heat, guys. You don't want it to cook too fast. Okay guys, so what we will normally do, we will pull our towel aside like that and then continue to cook this on the fire guys, just like that, until it's all swollen, just like that guys, you're going to continue to cook it on the fire and you're going to keep turning it as you go along. And this is so soft guys, so soft. You're going to flip it and you're going to do the same on the next side. Okay guys, so now I am going to go ahead and I am going to show you how to make the roti guys, how to make the, um, the pita bread or the seco roti guys. I'm going to go ahead and I am going to show you how to make that now. So you're going to go ahead and you're going to roll your dough out and you could make it a little thick guys or a little thin depends on how you like it you're going to lay it on your your towel there guys and you're going to go ahead and you're going to toss it around like that Then you're going to turn it over guys, just like that. Okay guys, so this is the part that to make it swell guys and to make it catch a little the way we make it in our country. So what you're going to do now guys, you're going to go over, you're going to turn it over, you're going to pull your towel aside like that and you're going to cook it on the fire directly like that guys just like that and you're going to keep tossing it around just like that guys until it completely swell keep tossing it around 
just like that. You have to let it go directly on the fire, guys. Okay, I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to toss it. And there you go, guys. It's going to swell all the way to the top. There you go. Okay guys, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you another one. You're going to go ahead and you're going to roll it out. You're going to roll your dough out. And you're going to place it there on your towel. Just like that guys, I'm going to turn it over, let this side cook, now you're going to pull your towel aside and you're going to put it directly on the heat guys, just like that, and you're going to keep tossing it quickly guys. Just like that until it's swollen. You want it directly on the heat, guys. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and flip it. Now it's going to swell all the way to the top, guys. There you go guys, I am going to go ahead and plate it for you so you can see what it looks like. Just bear with me one second.